Good morning, dear friends. Today, I come to you in the name of the Lord. And all those of you who call yourself by the name of the Lord, I pray that you hear me. It's a short time of exhortation as I remind you of some of the principles that we stand for. I share with you a character trait called faithfulness. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, the Bible says that moreover, it is required in stewards that a man shall be found faithful. There are two key words there. The first is a steward. It means that you are not an owner. You are a steward, one who can be entrusted with a safekeeping and prudent use of the master's resources, knowing that you are accountable. Then the second is that a steward should be found faithful. Faithful or faithfulness is a divine, godly, essential requirement necessary for all kingdom workers. This is what God himself looks for and is a non-negotiable trait in all of us as God looks to us as stewards. So the first thing we are going to do is to define faithfulness. Faithfulness means the synonyms for faithfulness are trustworthy, truthful, honest, dependable, profitable, and beneficial. And then there's an equality of faithfulness, which is the ability to commit to a vision, no matter the challenges and difficulties, and to finish it successfully at a profit, following godly principles. And so when you talk about a faithful person, he's truthful, he's honest, he's reliable and consistent. In the midst of every challenge, he's still dependable. God can depend on somebody that no matter the challenges you face, you will still commit and break through and eventually achieve the desired results. And I say this especially to all the people who are shepherds, leaders of various departments and, and every who, who have been trusted with the responsibility in the church that it is time for all of us to step up to be faithful we have given a commitment to a, a vision and to god that no matter the difficulties especially in these times when everybody has is falling into a temptation of just being laid back or just watching on and forgetting that there's a divine mandate I urge all of you to rise up to the character of faithfulness. We still have sheep to watch over. We still have prayer to be made daily. We still have the word study. We still have our offerings to be given. We still have our fellowship with God to be kept intact in our Christian testimony. And so I'm calling on all of you who are the PMI fraternity and who call themselves by the name of the Lord to rise up and be a hero. Keep to your prayer life. Keep to your work steady life. Don't let the challenges of the time cause you to slacken. It is time for you to be more diligent. It is an essential requirement now that you will rise up and be faithful. You'll be consistent. You'll be truthful. You'll be honest. You'll be dependable and reliable in your prayer. We want to be able to be depend. Somebody is depending on your prayer. You may not have everything the way it is, but your character must show through the challenges your ability to stay focused must show through the challenges you go through and so remember those of you who are on a cell meeting platform on a water platform of any sort the monthly groups it is the duty of the convener or the leader to keep watch over your people remember you have a divine responsibility not an earthly responsibility and so your prayer for them calling them every day, finding how they do, leading them into prayer, finding a way in the midst of the difficult times to still persist in your calling and your obedience to God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. I challenge you in these times to stretch forth your faith and be faithful, to keep studying your word, build times of fellowship and intimacy, to keep a daily consistent, honest prayer life, to lift up your hands at home and worship the Father. To, to continue giving your offerings, whether by momo, sow seeds and believe God that you every evil shall pass over, that there shall be deliverance. Sow seeds as a gesture of love. What use is it if you keep everything and you are not able to use it? Be kind, be faithful, watch over the sheep, 
the, over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. Remember, this is not an earthly responsibility. It's the Holy Ghost who has made you an overseer over his sheep. God knows that there will be times like this. And he's looked for a faithful person who will not give up, but will still continue looking after the sheep. And so I urge you, just in a short word, keep your prayer life, keep your word study life, keep watching over the sheep diligently, keep praying fervently for them, keep giving, call them by the day, find out how they are doing, share the word of God with them. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Your ability to commit, no matter the challenges and the difficulties, and to finish your ministry successfully at a profit as you follow godly principles. Stay safe, and I'm going to come your way again tomorrow with another word of exhortation. God bless you, and may the spirit of faithfulness be yours. May God stir up in you a heart to serve him even in these times, to be a hero and to be counted among the heroes of faith. In Jesus' name. Amen.